I'm Carl Lloyd with Golden Technologies, the Western Regional Vice President. And uh, we're here today to talk about Dynamic Links Electronics that is incorporated on our GP605 Sport. Uh, this is a unique feature that we have now added to the space uh, that offers just amazing uh, technology and drive capabilities. What the Links Dynamic is, it's basically load compensation technology. It's where the electronics is controlling the speed of the motors. Uh, so what that means over time, it's actually adapting to the end user's um, driving capabilities over time. Say for instance, different terrains, different inclines, even patient weight. Uh, the chair will perform uh, to the client's needs uh, to, the, to the best of the abilities of uh, daily operation. And what we've done, we went from a 60 amp controller to a 40 amp controller. Uh, which is offering more torque and not taking as much uh, drainage from the batteries. The chair is going to last a very long time. Uh, we start off with a hand control. Um, it's really nice and, and unique, slim features here. Everything is recessed back and contoured to where you're no longer reaching over the joystick to turn it on and off, um, which will prevent lockouts uh, on the unit as well as a safety feature of not transferring and then hitting the joystick and the chair moving. We put the charging port on the side instead of in the front. And what we've done also is done away with the handheld programmer. We now use the access key. It's a Bluetooth activation key that is inserted into the side of the joystick. And then with this, we go to our settings like any Bluetooth device setup. We'll go to the link access key, which is already connected. And then we'll back out of there. And then we'll go to the links access app, which is a free app. We'll go there, hit the Bluetooth icon. We agree to terms. And then this bottom row will completely light up and let you know that you are live with the system. A couple of really neat features, logs, active errors. Now, when the chair faults, it'll show a series of flashes. And with those series of flashes, we'll let you know and indicate what might be wrong with the system. With the Lynx Access, it's a lot different. We'll just show you an example by releasing the clutch release. And by doing so, it'll instantly show up what that error is. For instance, the right park brake error. If you weren't for sure what that meant, we can hit the park brake error, and then it tells you exactly what to do. So it's cutting everything in half um, when it comes to service in the, the chair and diagnosing the problem. We can back out of there and go to event logs. Event logs will show everything that's taken place with that particular serialized chair. We just released the right park brake error and then it'll show up um, in a record keeping uh, file. Really neat stuff. Another cool feature about this is real time diagnostics. It's gonna show you your live amperage of your motor. It's gonna show you also your battery voltage, as well as your speed pod. So no longer does the technician need a uh, multimeter or a voltage meter to check these systems. Another really nice feature about this is as soon as you take the chair out of the box, we wanna save it to file. And how this is done, we'll hit the wheelchair icon, we'll read from chair, and then we go to logs, save. Now it has just saved this chair to a file. October 29th, 2015 at 11.40 a.m. Now we can change this to Miss Jones, we can change it to a serialized number, whatever the case might be, it's loaded and ready to go. A really neat thing about this system, if there was a problem that the technician could not figure out, we can simply go to edit, hit Mrs. Jones chair, and now we can email this whole file of the system of the chair back to Golden or to Dynamics, and they can figure out what the problem might be. Really neat stuff. And if the clinician's involved, maybe they can even send this to the clinician so they can keep a uh, record of, of the parameters of the chair. 
Another really nice feature um, of the Dynamic Links is profiles. When you go to program a chair, as years ago or even today with other products, you have to use a handheld programmer. With the Dynamic Links, what we can do with changing the parameters of the drive modes, we go to Drive 1 Settings, and to change the turning radius, uh, just an example, would be just to use this and nothing else. It's fast, it's reliable, and it's accurate. Same with the forward speed. For acceleration and deceleration, we just hold the button in one place, and now we can accelerate or decelerate the chair. Now, say for instance, a person that has a progressive diagnosis, and we want to save the settings. We'll go to arrows, and that everything that we do now is actually being set into a filed setting. We go to the scroll and then we save. So now any of the changing of the parameters is actually going to be saved on a file. And this can be shared with the commission, the technician. Another really nice system also, um, which is always seems to be a problem, is finding the serial numbers on these major components. We'll go to System Summary, and that will show you what your power module serial number is, the remote serial number, as well as the access key serial number as well. All right there at your disposal. And just one of the quick examples of the uh, driving parameters. No longer needing a handheld programmer, we have to go with the access key, and something as simple as the turning radius. I am actually able to slow the chair down as the end user drives the chair throughout the house. An example, a stroke victim, going down a hallway, turning, transitioning, and say on their bad side into a bathroom or bedroom, we're able to actually control the chair via cell phone, iPod, iPad, 30 feet away. So you can really fine tune the chair to the end user's needs, whether it's indoors or outdoors, being able to change the parameters of the drive system without spending a tremendous amount of time doing it.